Ty, getting back to your lineup change, what inspired the idea to throw two start or two shooting guards uh, well, in there? I think talking to some of you guys throughout the course of the season, I told you I wanted to start Corver in the playoffs. You guys knew that, um, but you know, with the passing of his brother and then missing the last couple, two or three games with his foot, and then being sick, you know, he just wasn't. I ain't, he ain't think he had a rhythm, and he said he ain't think he had a rhythm either. But um, you know, talking to him when he missed practice the other day, I said, well, you know, I want to start you like the same plan. He said, I'll be ready to go, and I. Said, are you sure? He said, yes, I'll be ready to go. So um, by putting him in a starting lineup, you know, we had in, you know also insert, insert JR because I'm comfortable with JR. I've been there before with JR. Um, I know what JR brings. And then he can guard all the depot as well. So um, that was that was the reasoning. Ty, you said you wanted to see a more of an aggressive approach from LeBron James. Obviously, you got it. Um, how much of was that him taking over? And how much was that you um, adding some shooters to give him more spacing to deal with? A little bit of both. You know, I think he did a great job just being aggressive, you know, attacking the basket early, setting tone, you know, for our team. And um, defensively, I thought we were good again tonight, only giving up six threes. And, you know, when you're blitzing and you're scrambling around, you're going to give some points in the paint with the bigs. But we'll take those twos over the threes. And, you know, two games in a row, they haven't scored 100 points. So, um, but LeBron definitely did a great job just setting the tone early offensively. And um, they got our defense going as well. Clearly altered the, the starting lineup a little bit, and you got a lot out of LeBron. But did you get everything you wanted to see out of the other four guys as well? I did. I thought JR was great defensively on Oladipo. I thought he really challenged him up the floor, picking him up full court, being physical with him, denying him the basketball. And at the end of the game, having a big steal, you know, that uh, went down and laid the basketball up. So um, JR's defensive aggression was really good for us to start that game. And I don't want to presume, but you're sticking with this going forward? Yes, sir. Thank you.